thought you'd left. Are you going in there? She's been by herself for a long time. Too long, I think. Somebody needs to be with her. She'll need you later. I feel like she needs me now. I know, but you know this all happened so fast. Maybe you just should give it a little more time. I guess that would give me time to figure out what to say to her, because I don't know what to say to her. It's okay, you'll know the right words, you know, when you need them, you'll know them. Do they even exist? I just, I feel like she has to get out of there. At least out of that room. I know. But I do really think she's gonna let you take her home if she's not ready to go. No. I guess wherever she is tonight, she's gonna be doing exactly what she's doing right now. I have looked all over this place. The cafeteria, the chapel, the parking lot. I tried calling him. I tried calling him, too. Would you like a voicemail? What exactly did he say before he left? No, he just said that he wanted to be alone. Nothing more than that? Any hint as to where he was going? Nothing, nothing. He was just blaming himself for what happened to Delio. You think my brother's going to do something crazy? Don't you? Okay, he's obviously not in the hospital. Why don't we split up and try okay. to find him? Okay, I'm gonna look at the house. Okay, okay, I'll drive over to the boulevard, to Joe's, any place he might be hanging out. All right, can I help you find him? I don't know what I'm gonna do. Or say. I guess I'll just be a big brother to him. Nothing is gonna make him feel any better tonight. I know what could. If the police find the driver who hit Delia. Say it, I know. And I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You're not alone. I'm here. Oh, brother, aren't you cold? Give me my jacket. You know what? You know what? Let, let me... Let me just drive you home. Victoria will be waiting for you when you get there. Billy? We're right here, Jack. I was driving home from a play. I should have seen her. I'll bet she was amazing. Come on, let's get out of here. I don't think it's a good idea to be here. I got the whole thing on tape. We should get the whole family together just so they can see how smart and beautiful and talented my daughter is. Hello. Hi. Where's Johnny? She's in the nursery. Okay, I need to see him. Well, honey, you're gonna awaken me. I just, I need to hold him. Uh, you will, uh, um, but, but right now he, he's he asleep. Okay? Why wouldn't he be? Why is he in bed already? What's wrong? Well, maybe you've lost track of time. It, it's pretty late. <sighs> right. Okay. I'm sorry. I, di I didn't realize. I put him down quite some time ago. Okay. So tell us about Delia. How is she? <laughs> Delia's gone. Oh, no. Oh, no, baby, no. Oh, my God. <sighs> Oh, dear God. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh. Come on, let's go home. I'm fine, Jack. I need to stay. I'm fine. How long? Until I get some answers. I am here with you as long as it takes, but it's only going to get colder. Maybe you could do clearer thinking at home. We were on our way home. And Victoria had this idea to have an 
congratulatory after party for our little star. That was sweet, wasn't it? Sounds like a great idea. That's what I thought, too. So the party's on, but you need ice cream, right? You need ice cream? Sure. So I stopped off to get some ice cream at that grocery store just down there. Stopped the car, told Dilly to stay in the car. I went inside, I found the ice cream. I paid for the ice cream, I came back outside, and then she was in the car. Did you hear anything? Did you see anything? Any hint of who might have done this? Coward hit my daughter. He left her right there. He drew off. You are on our way. I will. Right. Okay. I just spoke to Victoria. She's going to stop and pick up Johnny on the way, and she's going to meet us at the house. Billy, give me the keys. I can drive my own car. Jack. I know you can. Let me do this. Makes me feel useful. Come on, give me the keys. I stopped to get ice cream. Billy, I know you're trying to make sense of all this right now, but hanging out here is not a good idea tonight. Come on, give me the keys. No, I forgot something else. What? <sighs> Dilly wanted me to get water for that damn dog. She thought he was thirsty. I forgot about the dog. What? The dog, the dog, Dilly's dog. Where's the dog? Well, I'm sure he's long gone. No, 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 no. She loves that dog. I gotta find Billy, the dog. Billy, no, 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 no. Billy, no, no. get in hey, the car. Hey, Dash! Billy! Dash! Come on. How did the hit and run happen? Nobody saw the accident. But, sweetheart, that's not what I'm asking. I mean, how come the little girl left the car? I don't know. Was she following Billy Boy into the store? Probably, yes. I just... We have no idea, okay? I'm gonna help Mom with Johnny. I want to get him home before Jack gets back she with Billy. She was such a sweet girl, for heaven's sake. She liked you, too. Have you told your brother yet? No, not yet. Want me to do that for no, you? Dad, it's okay. I'll I'll tell him in person tomorrow. You're sure? Yes, I'm sure. This is going to be really hard on Nick. I know, because of Cassie. It's going to crush him. Maybe he can help me. I don't know. Maybe he can help me help Billy somehow. Maybe. There Mama's comes the big boy. Baby. Yeah. Oh, sweet baby. Did you have a good time with your grandparents? Oh, yes, we did. Thank you for watching him while he's at the hospital, Mom. Honey, any time you know that. Why don't you spend the night? You both can spend the night. Thank you, Daddy. I appreciate the offer, but I'm going to get the baby home. I feel he's going to need to see his son. Okay. I love you. Let me take you to the door, my love. Bye, sweetheart. Come on, Dash. Billy. Come here, dog. Billy, Billy, listen to me. The dog is gone. You're not going to find I him. Want, I don't want to hear that right now, okay, Jack? I'm going to find this dog. Do you love that dog? I'm going to find it. If I'm here all night, I'm going to find the dog. Chelsea, I can't go. I need to stay here. Billy, it's going to be next to impossible to find a dog in the dark. I'm going to find him. How? Do it, He's Jack. probably scared. He's hiding out right do it, now. Jack. Billy, him. we can resume the search in the light of day. Come on, I'll help you. Doesn't that make sense? We'll, we'll go online, we'll put ads in the paper. Billy, let's go home. I don't want to leave, okay? I'm not leaving. I'm staying right here. I'm not leaving. What do you think will happen if you leave this room? What are you afraid of, Billy? Will you feel like you're abandoning Delia? Will it make losing Delia more real if you walk away now? I don't know what to do. I don't know how to make it right. I just know. I just know if I just have to stay here. But Chloe, you can't make this right. No matter how much you want it, staying here can't help Delia. You can look for Dash all night, tomorrow and beyond. Even if you find him, it's not gonna help Delia. 
Come on, let's go home. No. No, 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 and I'm not ready yet. No. Chloe. There's something I have to do first. What is that? see Victoria's car. Why don't I just come and sit with you? At least till she and Johnny get here. Because you don't have to. Because I'm home and I'm handling this and I've got it from here. Okay. It's gonna be fine. You sure? No, I'm not. But what choice do I have, man? Really? Listen, Look, I... Victoria's on her way back home. And I need a minute alone before she gets here. You need anything, anything at all. You'll be in touch with me, even if it's in the middle of the night. I will, I will. And I'll start calling the family. I didn't think about that. You don't have to think about that. I'll take care of it. Just be prepared to be bombarded by all the love and support the Abbott family can give you. Yeah. We're all there for you. We want to help you through this. Jack, um, thanks. Jill, it's, it's Jack. Um, I know it's late. Can you call me as soon as you get this message? There's something I have to tell you. this kid does know how to make an entrance. I mean, who comes into this world on Valentine's Day in a cabin, in the middle of a blizzard? This girl, that's who. Yes, and who delivered the bundle of joy? Her daddy with these two hands right here. Wow. I mean, you were like that big back then. Now, you're this big, and you are so heavy, so heavy, you're so heavy. Weigh a ton of bricks. I'm not heavy, I'm little. You're right. I'm sorry. You're little. You're daddy's little girl. You're always gonna be, right? <laughs> 